you both have a heritage your grandparents and your parents through difficult times and believe me if they're honest they'll tell you the marriages were not always easy in good times and bad you, you've watched examples and you've watched people who have stuck it out but I'm not going to talk to you about what love is I'm going to talk to you about what love does because for me it's an action Love is sacrificial. It's about sacrifice. It's about placing the needs of this woman whose hands you're holding above your own. It's about placing his needs above your own. The last and most important thing that love does is it serves. And I'm pleading with you guys to get up every morning and see if you can't outserve each other. There is nothing greater in life than being a servant. I'll try to keep this short because I know you don't like being the center of attention. Yet for someone who hates being the center of attention, you always find a way to light up the room when you enter it. Who would have thought that a guy from a small town in Alabama and a girl from the land of the cacti in Phoenix would ever end up together? It wasn't always the easiest road, and at times it was more like riding a roller coaster in the dark, as noted by your 40 plus days of travel soon after we decided, um, I think we're boyfriend and girlfriend. We've spent more time in different time zones than most couples do in a lifetime. But I will say now, as I said to you then, that it will only make us stronger. We've seen the Grand Canyon together, Mount Rushmore of awesome musical acts. When I held your hand through Paul McCartney singing Hey Jude, with Eric Clapton and so many more along the way. As much as I loved the music, it was always more of an excuse to spend time with you. We've seen the Great Lake of Michigan, swam with dolphins, walked among Mayan ruins, discovered Magical Big Sur together, snorkeled in Belize, and I'm honored to have helped you embrace your inner redneck while bass fishing in Mentone, Alabama. <laughs> Throughout it all, good and bad, we've managed to do it with love and laughter and with commitment, and I can't wait to start the next chapter in our lives together. Parker, we've both been looking forward to today, but the idea of standing up here and professing our love in front of a crowd was likely the portion leaving us with the most anxiety. Our parents have a combined 60 plus years of marriage, a legacy initiated by our four sets of grandparents. They will forever be an inspiration for our future, blending our names, our families, our lives. I started writing in this book shortly after we got engaged, and I can't think of a better way to wrap up the beginning of our love story than right here with this final entry. I promise to encourage us to try new and unusual things. I vow to invest in loving you daily. I vow to never stop telling you how much I love your big curly red hair, to never stop seeking adventure with you or experiencing new things together. I pledge to be sensitive and respectful of your talents, abilities, and quirks. I promise to never stop calling you sunshine. I promise to be the best husband <clears throat> I can lead to you and to give everything I have to this marriage. Together we will accomplish more than I ever could have alone. I promise to never forget the journey that got us to this point, and I promise to stand beside you no matter what life has in store for us from this day forward. I love you, and I'm excited to be your husband.
Where words fail, art speaks. This blank canvas represents you and I. We have unlimited possibilities. I can't wait to see where we go. I can't wait to get started. I love you. Lauren Fowler, soon to be.